Uh, new park here today uh, with my friend Kirk. We're uh, gonna give it a go. I'm trying out the Deus. Unfortunately, I can't get the headphones to pair with this coil, so uh, it's just gonna be loud. Um, see how we do and bring in on the first good target. Well, I kind of lied. I didn't bring you guys in on my first target. I've kind of been hunting for a while, but uh, I just got this signal. Thought it was a pull tab. It didn't sound round. 77 to 80. Popped the plug and uh, I got my first ring. Appears to be aluminum, but uh, we'll see. Looks like a lawnmower hit, too. Definitely an aluminum kid's ring. I think this is a penny. 83, 84, 85. Not really familiar with the day's VDIs yet. Penny. Went out yesterday for about two and a half hours of the day. It was the first real spin I've taken with it in a in a park setting. And pulled about three dollars, two rings, earring, couple pins, couple necklace pendants. Had a really good day. I bought this used on eBay. I cannot get the headphones to connect with this. 11 inch coil. Yesterday I was using the 9 inch. 89.90, probably a dime. I'm running the coin program that Andy Sabish has in his book. I've done some reading on it, but not terribly familiar. Oh, we got part of a car, it looks like. No, got a, uh, a buckle. 84 to 87, probably another penny. 87 solid, 90, 92, 89, 94. Could be a can, doesn't sound too round. That's why, hate finding batteries. 89, 90. 90. Time. Key. 81, 82. 90, 91. 86 to 91, probably a dime. Oh, oh, we got a wee cent. That's surprising. 1954? 1954, sweet. Dime. Got a loud 62. No idea what this is going to be. Probably a pull tip, though. I see sparkly. Okay, I see sparkly in here. I see sparkly in here. It was loud. I see a stamp in there, but I don't know what it is. Well, guys, I can't read what the inscription is on the inside of it, so that's going to have to wait for the wrap-up. But uh, consensus, that was, those were gold numbers, um, 60s. And it's definitely a good-looking ring, so it looks like it's aquamarine. But uh, that's the Daves. That's four rings in my first two outings with the Daves. I'm... I, I'm loving this machine. I, I, I know nothing about it. I don't even know what I'm doing with it. But the tones, the tones are so descriptive. 
This is total junk, but I'm gonna dig it because I don't know this machine. 23 to 43. I'm not, it's too deep and I'm not gonna go into the gravel. 77, 70, 77 to 80. Bang and target. It's either gonna be a big piece of cancel or something really good. Or not, or a penny. That was screaming at me. I just got this perpetual smile on my face right now thinking that thing's gold. Probably not. 78 to 83. Definitely a coin. Gonna be a penny. This thing really defines the shape of the target compared to the Equinox. There's a lot of things I really like about this machine. Penny. 85 to 92. 93. Not really the cleanest tones, but uh, I'm so new with this machine, I gotta, gotta look at them. Let's go bearing. Yeah, I got a skateboard bearing. Junk signal, 22 to 44, 49. There we go. Just gotta dig them, especially when you're starting out. What's the worst that can happen? You clean up the park, right? You got a coin spill here. Ninety-two to start. Quarter, I think. Or not. Got a conduit clamp of some kind. But we'll see if there's more. There's a, another 92 right here. That's a dime. I don't even know the video is yet. I guess I don't really care. Dig good targets. Dig less trash. Dig good targets. Deep dog tag. 94. 95. Round tone. Hoping for a dollar. Well, I said hoping for a dollar. <laughs> I got three quarters, a dime, and a penny. Pretty close. Ninety-four to ninety-eight. I don't really like the sound, but I gotta dig it to find out. Well, it is a dime. So that was my ears. Seventy-three, seventy-four, eighty-one, seventy-two. I got myself part of an Alaska belt buckle. That's cute. Eighty eighty two. Eighty four to eighty six, gonna be a penny again. Yeah. Well, they're, they've cleared out part of the field, so I'm gonna go back to where I was. 
So, yep. I just did one pass at the back and then cut back through. I did pull a coin spill of uh, 88 cents. Yeah, I've got two of them so far. Yeah, I had one over there that was uh, throwing me a 95 on the day, which I was expecting a dollar coin. And then it was uh, three quarters a dime and a penny. And then the other one was uh, three quarters a dime, two dimes and a penny. Wow, I haven't found a quarter. Really? Not over there. Actually. Did you find anything back over that? Uh, bottle cap. I just did one pass over. And... Yeah, it was... Uh, I didn't. I didn't notice it. I mean, with uh, but I'm just digging with my hands. So, I mean, I'm. Oh wow! I got. That's pretty good. Not close to that. Well, I. I mean, I will say, the learning curve on this is going to be huge, but it's not making much of a difference. No, I've got one, two. Five, six. It's a, I got seven or eight quarters. Uh, it's sparse over there. Mm -hmm. It's stuffed, it's just sparse. Right. Big and, coil. Yeah, and I had to drop down to 10. Because of the Sensitivity wire. wise? The oh, that's not even worth it then. I'm I'm chattery right now and it's driving me freaking crazy because these tones are awful from this machine. Well, it was terrible. Yeah. No, this 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 is driving me nuts. I mean, if I'm swinging, it's quiet, but the minute I stop or put the coil in the air, it's just. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go over there. No, I don't care. I mean, if you want to do the middle of this too, uh, yeah. under me. Yeah, there's going to be a, there's. I know over there is going to be a lot of coins where, where they were. I mean, there's, it's really matted down from previous things going on here too. So, I mean, all around that basketball court, all of it's going to be good. So, oh, especially backside basketball court. Yeah, I expect there's a gold ring right here. There, there is a there is a gold ring right here. Yep. I. I'm wishing I was using the Equinox to be honest, but it's not really. It's not hurting me. I'm just. Actually, you can't. <laughs> cut, no, cut it. Cut across here. Scan through here. Dig them. I hope it is. You're due. I, you know what? I've never found a gold ring with this. Seriously. Yeah, you have. No, you no, got no, that eight, that 18 karat ring with the diamond in it. The what? You got that 18 karat gold ring with the diamond in it. <laughs> right. Didn't you get it? That little teeny one? I thought you got that with the Knox. So this is this is less than foil. I'm not hearing anything. I've got a an iron tone in there, and that's it. That's deep. Yeah. Well, I'm curious now. I get iron. Right there. It's, it's right there. Uh, there's something in there, 65, which is probably, that's a nickel tone on this, so. Right, and that's what I'm thinking of as well. Bottle cap or nickel? Nickel. Nickel. That's nickel. I couldn't hear it from that angle. There was nothing there. It was a... Uh, a zero to six. Yeah. Well, whenever you do nickels. Ninety-four, ninety-five. What do you hear here? Twenty-nine, thirty, twenty-seven. Okay, that I'm seeing coin spill is what I'm seeing. Yeah, it's probably it's. 
27. Yeah, this is a 9495 on here, so. So it's probably, probably is. That's three quarters. Sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty. Probably a full tab. Doesn't sound as round, anyways. Well, it's a nickel. Ninety-four to ninety-seven. Very round target. Or another wheel bearing. Skateboard wheel bearing. Figure out these bottle caps in this days. Well, I'm uh, running low on battery. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off the camera. And unless I find a really good target, this will be uh, pretty much the end of it. Um, it was a pretty good hunt uh, for the days, uh, second time out. Had a lot of clad, probably $4 and change two rings uh, nothing else really but if something else good comes in i'll pull it in for that but thanks for watching